So, welcome to question number 19, paper 2 of 1991, uh, KCSC Mathematics. We are told complete the table given below for the equation y is equals to 5 plus 3x minus 2x by filling in the blank spaces. Uh, so, we have the table with some missing values. Uh, we are told to use the values from the table. Uh, to draw the graph of y is equal to 5 plus 3x minus 2x squared. Uh, use your graph to determine the range of values for x which satisfies the inequality 5 plus 3x minus 2x squared is less than or equals to minus 2. Uh, so the table we have, we have been given here is not expanded, uh, but you can still use it. Uh, you should be careful with your calculator so that you get the values. For example, we have minus 1.5. So you say it is 5 plus 3 times minus 1.5 minus, you put the bracket, that is you say it is 5 uh, plus 3 times minus 1.5. You can even put the brackets here. Uh, then you have minus two put the brackets there uh, multiply by uh, minus 1.5 squared that is you have that so you can use your calculator now to work it out so this will give you five uh, this is minus uh, this is 4.5 and then then the other one is uh, my this is 2.25 and uh, then you have uh, minus 2.25 when you multiply by 2 it is 4.5 and you end up with uh, uh, minus 9 minus 9 uh, this is 5 minus 9 and that should give you minus 4 so that's how you are supposed to work it out so be careful with your calculator so here the value is minus 4 uh, doing the same you get here it is 0 uh, then we have uh, when it is 0 this is 5 when it is 1.5 and uh, then we get uh, it is uh, 1.5 when it is 1 it is 6 1.5 you get it is 5 then we have uh, the other one when it is 2 you get 3 when it is 2.5 you get 0 and finally when it is 3.5 you get minus 9 so we have filled our table and now we should go ahead and uh, use a table to plot the, the graph of y is equals to 5 plus 3x uh, minus 2x squared so let's plot the graph so this is a grid that I'm going to use to plot uh, my graph and I'll take this to be the starting point so I have 0 there uh, then we have uh, the x-axis uh, this is uh, 0 0.5 this is 1 uh, 1.5 this is uh, 2 2.5 we have 3 and finally 3.5 that is our x-axis on the negative side we have minus 0 0.5 we have minus 1 minus 1.5 minus 2 uh, that's uh, the negative side uh, the values of uh, y the highest is uh, as you can see it is 6 so I will use that is 5 and that is 10 this is our y axis then we have uh, the negative side we have uh, minus 5 and minus 10 so we already have our values there uh, they have the, uh, our Cartesian then from there uh, we identify the points so when x is minus 2 y is minus 9 so that is where we have our 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 minus 9 then when x is 1.5 it is minus 4 so that is where we have minus 4 when x is minus 1 our y is 0 when x is 0 0.5 our x is uh, 
3 so you have our our 3 there when x is 0 y is 5 so we have our y there when x is 1 uh, that is uh, 0 0.5 0 0.5 our x is 6 so 0 0.5 we have uh, our 6 is there when x is 1 uh, y is also 6 so we have our 6 again there when x is 1.5 y is 5 when x is uh, two, uh, 2 y is 3 so this is where we have our 3 when x is 2.5 y is 0 when x is uh, 3 y is minus 4 so we have our minus 4 there when x is 3.5 y is minus 9 so that is what we have so we are going to join these points and come up with uh, the quadratic graph of our function which is uh, y is equals to 5 uh, plus 3x minus 2x squared uh, so let's join the points and come up with a graph so using your free hand you should come up with a graph that looks like this uh, always label your graph so y is equals to uh, 5 plus 3x then minus 2x squared uh, from there uh, we are told uh, that uh, we get the values where uh, we have uh, 5 uh, plus 5 uh, that is 5 plus 3x uh, minus 2x squared is uh, less than or equals to minus uh, 2 less than or equals to minus 2 and therefore uh, we are going to plot the line uh, at uh, y is equals to minus 2 and we, that is y is less than or equals to minus 2 and get the value so let's plot that line Uh, so this is the line of uh, y is equals to minus 2 that's why we have minus 2 and since we are supposed to read the values of y uh, which are less than minus 2 so we take this point so we say x is equals to at the point where the values of y are less than or equals to minus 2 uh, this is around uh, minus 1.3 and because of accuracy we say it is plus or minus 0 0.1 the other point is this one uh, and uh, we say uh, x is equals to the value here is about uh, 2. Uh, this is 2.5 2.8 2.8 uh, plus or minus 0 0.1 so those these are the values of uh, x uh, where the value of y is less than or equals to minus 2 so going beyond this side the values are minus that is beyond this point here the values of x the values of uh, the, the values of x are uh, uh, instead of putting minus uh, we should put uh, less than and here we say it is greater than so 2.8 so x lies in between 1.3 minus 1.3 and uh, 2.8 uh, so those values and uh, that is how you work out that question uh, so we have come to the end of the question uh, I think you should uh, be able to do that uh, you can do the question on your own and see whether you'll be able to reach the point we have reached so thank you for watching and welcome for other videos that you find uh, in our uh, system